Hello everyone. Today is October 7th, 2024, and I want to show you a really um, neat geomancy ritual that has to do with the cities and landmarks and the X's formed by the last three eclipses. And those three eclipses that I'm going to be talking about um, are the October 14th, 2023 annular eclipse, uh, the 2024 X eclipse uh, that happened on April 8th. That was a total solar eclipse. And then we just had an annular eclipse on October 2nd, 2024 over Easter Island. And this ritual that I'm going to show you here, it encompass, encompasses the archetype or the, the Jesus ritual of his ministry, death, and then resurrection. And it's been a while since I've done a video for you guys but my last video that I actually did was be right before the Olympics and that has to do with mercury and we're gonna get I'm gonna get to this my slides are almost done for the follow-up to this video it was well after the fact um, that I found some interesting uh, information about the Olympics that I didn't know that actually is connected directly to a lot of topics that I've been looking at lately so the slides for this one are almost done, and I'm going to connect it to Back to the Future. Because it's because these these themes and these items are shown over and over again, and Back to the Future just is a huge connection, just absolutely points right towards um, one of the things that they show in uh, that was about the 2024 Olympics. So I'm going to do that video next. I haven't forgot about that. A lot of Mercury connections to the 2024 Olympics in Paris. And then if we go back to the last little video I did here, it was just a minute and a half, um, didn't narrate it, but that video was an unlisted video that I made back in October 18th, 2020, and I just put it on public, whatever, a few weeks ago, or whatever it was. And um, some of the decoders, like Cody and um, Casey, Jones channel and stuff we're talking about the I am and I had done this video let's see October 18th 2020 so I thought I'd put that on public you know I have a handful of other videos that I've never made public on my channel but I thought well ever since everyone was talking about that I I made it public and it posted up a few weeks ago so that's where that video came from wasn't narrated didn't have anything but we're gonna go back and do the Mercury Olympics after this video and this video kind of spawned you know every, everything's all connected here so but i want to show you the jesus ritual the ministry death and resurrection that are encompassed in these last three um, eclipses that we've had from 2023 and these two in 2024 the annular total solar eclipse and another annular annular eclipse and you know you know this this geomancy or the locations of these cities and landmarks uh, in the path of the eclipse are just so so interesting okay so this is the um, ritual that we're gonna look at right here it's 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 fairly simple uh, the first eclipse uh, in this ritual was the October 14th 2023 Corpus Christi Texas eclipse I call it and this was like, I'll call this the equivalent of the ministry of Jesus. Okay, because this eclipse they say Jesus began his ministry at the age of 30 or 31 and then his ministry ended at 33. So we have this entering the United States in the 33rd state, Oregon. And then we have the exact exit of the path of the eclipse and the exact path of totality directly over Corpus Christi, Texas, right? The body of Christ. And I had done a video a couple years ago about this eclipse because it had to do with the Ovalde shooting. And the name of the shooter was Salvador, right? Salvador means savior. And it was in the 33rd state that we had the eclipse exited over Corpus Christi, right? It was part of the double X eclipse that was going to be formed by the total solar eclipse on April 8th. Right, we got our two X's over Carbondale and Uvalde. There's Uvalde right here. And then, you know, the shooter 
they gave us the picture. He's in the, you know, taking a picture in a mirror and he has a sun behind his head. So this is, this was the first part of the, what I'll call the ministry um, of Jesus, of this eclipse um, trilogy here. And then the second part, we'll call this the death of Jesus, uh, was April 8th, 2024. Um, like Jesus carrying his carrying the cross to his resurrection. We have the 2024 eclipse making the X over Carbondale, Illinois, Little Egypt. Um, and, you know, it mimics, if you look up Jesus carrying his cross, the, the, the these X's mimic, you know, these eclipse paths mi mimic, you know, Jesus carrying the cross. So, and then actually, you know, it's the... The ritual there, I think, is Simon of Cyrene, right? He held, he had to carry the cross for Christ. And I think yesterday or the day before, I was listening to a um, live stream um, by Decoding with Cody, and he was talking about the, the name Simon. So there's something to that with this Simon of Cyrene and carrying the cross and the X eclipses. But So there's the second leg of the... Of the eclipse and I'll show you why this are why these so precisely connect through the through the date coding as well so the third part we just had the October 2nd 2024 Easter Island annular eclipse and right here is the eclipse path Easter Island right here so that's you know like Easter is the resurrection of Jesus the celebration of the resurrection and Let's see here, find this. So here's our first one, second one, total solar eclipse, and then there's an X also created by this um, April 8th eclipse and the 2024 October 2nd eclipse we just had here. So it's all interesting, all these X's, and the, the, the third X isn't shown here. So it actually makes three X's with this 2024 eclipse that, that that was the total solar eclipse of April 8th this Carbondale eclipse actually makes three X's which is super interesting and I've actually looked into the movie triple X and it actually kind of has an interesting connection I'm not going to show it but if you go back and kind of look at the date stuff you can probably figure it out on your own but um, super interesting that all these connect connected eclipses are all all about um, Jesus because of the locations of Corpus Christi, Oregon, um, Uvalde, and then, you know, Carbondale 666, the, uh, you know, the body of Christ, right? And 666 is the, is the um, symbol for carbon, right? Six electrons, six protons, and six neutrons, right? And man, you know, man's body is a carbon-based body. So all these are definitely um, Christ rituals. And, of course, Easter Island, right? Easter Island is the resurrection. And Pontius Pilate, right? Pontius Pilate. Jesus went before Pontius Pilate, before he was crucified. Um, mushroom Cloud. And I'll show you what's so interesting about this Mushroom Cloud in a minute. But Mushroom Cloud is 177. Pontius Pilate is 177, but here's where we're going to get into the numbers and meat of the ritual here. If we go from the first eclipse, annular eclipse, on October 14th, 2023, to the next eclipse, the total solar eclipse that made our X, it's 177 days, right? So that's our Pontius Pilate connection. And then if we go to the next annular eclipse from 4-8-2024, it's another 177 days. So what we have in between here is 177 days, 177 days on each side of the X eclipse. And there's there's some more 177s because I talked about this with the Casey Jones channel quite a while ago and we were looking at all the 177s but just off the top of my head Pontius Pilate is the one that jumps out at me the most, so I listed that here. But, you know, this this has kind of been a long time in the making, and I just thought I'd 
put it all together because I didn't quite have it all together until um, I realized the Easter Island eclipse um, was on 10-2. So. Okay, the other connection here, there's a money connection to all these eclipses because this last eclipse on October 2nd, 2024 happened on Elul 29 on the Hebrew calendar. And that's a super important date in history because the stock market crash after 9-11 happened on September 17th, which was equivalent to Elul 29. And then there was a stock market crash 9-29-2008 where the stock market dropped 777 points. That was also equivalent to Elul 29 and then the Easter Island Eclipse. Now, it would be interesting. I didn't really look too much about any types of crashes. There wasn't a stock market crash or anything really, but, you know, this Elul 29 is definitely a, a special day, and it's connected to these, you know, 9-11 stock market crash. And that stock market crash on September 29, 2008, I've talked about that 9-29 many times before. And since I showed you guys the mushroom cloud gematria, right, um, 929-2008 was the 13th year, 13 year anniversary of the release of Trinity and Beyond, the atomic bomb movie, right? It was released on 929-95. It was actually narrated by William Shatner, right? William Shatner is the captain of the Enterprise, like Enterprise is a business, like business money. And, you know, he has that, William Shatner has that WS initials, you know, 20, 23 letter. 19th letter for the 2319 that I talk about a lot. So, you know, there's tons of little rituals here that have to do with um, these eclipses and these anniversaries of these movies and and things like that. So, a little 29, all connected here, especially with the last eclipse just five days ago. So there you go, uh, everyone, the, the three eclipses. Basically, that's my interpretation, the ministry, death, and resurrection, right, With represented with these three eclipses. And um, super interesting. So there's more to this. I could have put more in here, but I just want to kind of make a short video, keep it under 15 minutes um, for you guys to see. And next up will be the follow-up to the Olympics. And then I mentioned before in one of my article in one of my community posts, uh, we talk about the monkey, and the reason I want to talk about the monkey is because the United States was founded in the year of the fire monkey, and we're going to look at other monkey years and kind of make some connections there. But um, I made these monkey posts a little bit over a year ago. Kind of, and I do this on my community posts, kind of save my spot. So when I come back and when I talk about something, you know, I can come back and say, hey, I was looking at this, you know, this date or this time because I'm notoriously slow for getting getting to things because I'm so busy with work and family and stuff. And also coming up the November 1st heliocentric return of Pluto for the United States of America. That's coming up. I made that little thing, you know, with the money, the Declaration of Independence is on the back of the $2 bill, and we're having the Pluto return. This would be the second time it shows up here. And yeah, guys, a lot of stuff. Um, let's see the last, there's my fire monkey thing. Um, yeah, guys, a lot of stuff to cover. Super excited to show you about the Back to the Future stuff, how it connects to the Olympics and one of the themes or mascots of the Olympics. It's uh, it's pretty pretty wild stuff. So, you know, a little hint here. You know, Marty he shows up in in 1955 in a barn, and you know, the DeLorean lands in a, a bed of straw, just like Jesus was in a you know a manger with straw. So. There's just ripe, ripe symbolism. What I'm going to show you about Back to the Future and the things hidden in it that some people have kind of um, talked about before, but I'm going to show you this, just an absolute, absolute slam dunk symbolism um, from that movie that's that's kind of hidden away that I've never seen so, you know, precisely um, decoded. So 
excited about showing you guys that video. Hopefully I can do it justice. Hopefully I did justice to this video with this um, symbolism here in the 177 day legs in between each eclipse, the annular total and the other annular eclipse. Right. And like I said, there's more to this, but um, we'll just leave it at that uh, for now. Okay. Thanks for watching.